everybody this is Sud and I'm coming at you today with a different sort of video instead of a games video you're going to get a game fixing video because the folks at well Samsung in their infinite wisdom decided uh, that they would make an Android 11 update that completely breaks the SD card for RetroArch so that means we're in a heap of trouble but that's all right we're going to fix it so what we want to do here is just start off fresh with RetroArch. Um, if you are familiar with how to edit and delete things on Android, fine. Otherwise, you can just uninstall RetroArch and f get a fr fresh install of it from the Google Play Store. So what I'm going to do to start us off here is we got our fresh RetroArch. So we're going to open it. And here's the usual RetroArch. Uh, rhetoric. We're going to go down, down to configuration file. So right here. And where you see save new configuration right there, hit that. And then we're going to have a new config. And what that's going to do is it's going to just put it in the load config area up here. You could see RetroArgo 404. And that's the file that we've just made. Okay, so let's close all of this out. And what we're going to need next is a simple text editor. So I suggest uh, this particular one. I'll just bring it up for you so you can see. And it's gone, so that's very handy. Thanks for that. But it is quick edit. So quick edit text editor. I like this. It's simple. It's effective. It don't have to worry about formatting it's kind of like a programmer's notepad so grab this and we'll just get out of there and load up your quick edit okay so uh we're coming up with a new untitled uh page here so that's fine now what there's uh one thing we want to do is we want to identify what our sd card is named so if you uh, just hit the hamburger button right there on the top left, you can see SD card. If you tap that, you will see storage and then the SD card. So that's the name of my particular SD card. It's 730D-1701. Yours will be different. So you don't you're not going to be putting this in anywhere. You're going to be using what is specific to you. Okay, so I'm just going to hit the back button because I don't want to open anything from there. And what we're going to do is hit that hamburger button again. And now we're going to go to internal storage. And then we'll scroll down for RetroArch. And then at the top there, config. And now you see uh, this RetroArch 0404 config that we saw earlier. So tap on that. And here is where our, the meat of the config is. Now there's one thing that we need to change here so that we can actually load our ROMs off of the SD card. So if you look at the top right, there's a triple dot thing there. Tap on that and then tap on search. And in search text, you're going to want to put in RGUI. So that's RGUI underscore browser. Got that RGUI browser and then hit search. And then you'll see this come up uh, way, way down in the file. Our GUI browser directory equals default. So what we want to do is make this where on our SID card our ROMs are. So I'm just going to go in there. You just go in there and we'll edit out the default. So now I remember that my, my SD card is called storage slash... 730 oops d dash no not underscore dash 1701 now yours will be different so yours will be storage and then some other number letter combination and additionally I want it to be in a subfolder which I called ROMs so I'm going to put in that ROMs here you don't have to do that if you don't want to uh you if you just leave it the way it was, it'll just go straight to your SD card. So 
to finish that, we hit the the end quotations. Make sure you get that in there so that the file doesn't break. You don't want files breaking. And then if you just look down below, there's a little disk icon uh, just maybe a couple inches down below it right here. Save. Yeah. Hit that. All right. Finish that. This closed down everything. And we can go into RetroArch once, once more. Now, we're going to have to do this every time we open uh, RetroArch. Unfortunately, it's a little bit of a workaround. But go into Configuration File. And then at the top here, Load Configuration. And then you'll see the file that we just edited there. So tap on it. And that it'll load it. So now, you just go to your Load Content. And you see at the top here, Start Directory. Tap on that. And there's your ROMs on your SD card. So now you can play your arcades Afterburner 2 from MAME. And that's working. And I don't know, just take another example. Eh. Close this content. Load it. Start directory. I don't know. Genesis. And I don't know. Let's see. Oh, Sanic. Sanic Hedgehog uh, Spinball. Uh, very good. And then Thega. Oh, I guess they didn't work on the voice synthesizer. <laughs> but yeah. That truck is now loading. Oh, yeah. And that's it. So just remember, whenever you uh, open RetroArch, just to load that configuration file. And you can access your SD card. And fun will be had by all. Anyways, thank you for watching. And uh, that's it for now. Have a good one.